Welcome back. It's time with, for breakfast with the birds, and we're talking about the raptors of Barbados. Now, I didn't even know we had indigenous raptors, Dr. Webster, of Barbados. No, good morning, and a very good morning to my mom, who gets up early every morning to watch this show. Good Morning, does? Mom. Yes, she does. Oh. Good morning, Mummy. <laughs> morning. <laughs> no, actually, we don't have indigenous raptors in Barbados. Um, however, we do have, around this time every year, in time for Christmas, mm -hmm. um, they start to come in towards the, the end of October. And Kimberly, as you saw a couple of weeks ago, we, we, we have we a lovely big osprey, which yes. we're going to talk about this morning. Explain what a raptor is. Well, we're going to do that in just a minute. Mm -hmm. we, we're going to bring some, some pictures up, and I will show you what a raptor is. Let's first have a look at the osprey. That, that is the osprey. It is a huge bird with a five to six foot wingspan. And it's quite a beautiful bird as well. And it's, it's one of the raptors that visits Barbados. So what, what makes a raptor a raptor? And our, our next uh, slide, I will try to make that point. There are three basic things that are, to, they have Kingian, they have a specialized beak, and they have specialized legs with, with some severe talons. I know some birds like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're talking about the feather. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, let, let's have a close look at the vision. Um, in, in raptors, their eyes actually face um, like other sort of on the side, it gives them mm -hmm. and it's things for, for prey. They chase other birds and whatnot. Or fast moving and they need to be able to measure distance so that they know where they are in relation to their prey. So their eyes face forward. And uh, our next show, a few help that doctor, and basically are called chlorotic rings. The eye sockets? Those, those hold the eyes in place mm -hmm. and protect the eyes from, from damage, basically. Because mm -hmm. they're moving at high speed and diving at things and through bushes and whatnot into water, as we'll see in a moment. Okay. Um, it, the, the other thing that we just missed is the membrane, which is important for, for, for a raptor. Uh, raptors have three eyelids, two like we do, and a third one called the nictating membrane. It's a transparent uh, eyelid, sort of, and ospreys so use see it. see when his eyes closed. Well, pretty well, yes. Ospreys use it when they're diving um, for their prey, they dive water, and it's like putting on goggles. Dive in, they, they bring up the nictate and mm -hmm. protect their eyes but still being able to see mm -hmm. so that they have a built-in set of goggles for their specialized feeding technique the the beak of the the raptors hooked. have been modified they're they're hooked and they're sharp um the, the curved edges they use for that hook in tearing the 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 um, prey that they've caught Mm -hmm. talk, talk me through this process though, because they dive for their, for their meals um, from from relatively high, and how deep do they go in the water? I mean, and, and can they swim? Can they stay underwater for long periods of time? I mean, how does this work? Well, os ospreys will tend, tend to 100 feet, well, they circle, and then once they catch sight of something they're interested in, they will hover. Mm -hmm. um, and then they'll, they'll dive, and they fold their wings in and they dive straight into the water. They can, they can catch a fish up to about three feet deep. They can't swim. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, if we could just finish with the talons, heat, which the raptors for catching their prey are modified quite significantly. They oh, they catch it with their feet, not with yes. their beak? No, they, ah, they, okay. when, when they, the, the Ospreys dive in, they dive with their feet out. That's mm -hmm. similar to what a bald eagle would do as well, no, which we I don't would see not here. Have, I would not have 
guess that. Uh, I would have I, I figured was, dive in and the beacon catch and, and take it in. Yeah. yeah. No, they they dive with and um, they prey. In the mm -hmm. case of, unlike other raptors, they have all raptors have four toes, but mm -hmm. the osprey has a a fourth toe that is is maneuverable. So they can move that toe around so that, well, I only, I got five fingers, so if we hit, mm -hmm. <laughs> can't quite do it. But mm -hmm. two, two toes face forward allow it to fish that they're on the, on the base of their feet mm -hmm. that are rough that help them to get the grip on a slippery fish. He looks almost as so if he's gripping like how we would grip something with our hands. Pretty Well, yes. So they're they're really specialized. They dive in. They sink the talons into the fish, and then they come back to the top of the water. And they I, I don't want to put another lesson. They wait from the water. Don't they sink it? And um, it's very. Really, you know, we said this before. Birds are cons you, you you try to be in something someone when you tell them that they're bird brained, mm -hmm. but birds are quite incredible. As we get get further and further into looking at birds, we realize that birds are really quite smart. Mm -hmm. So when people tell you that you're a bird brain, they're actually paying you a huge compliment rather than an insult. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Kimberly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Before you go on, I want to ask you, though, the origin of, you know, of, of the osprey. Where do they come from? They migrate from the North American um, mm -hmm. continent here, but mm -hmm. ospreys are essentially worldwide birds. They're found in just about every continent in the world except, I think, it's Antarctica. Um, there reasons. are true worldwide birds, mm -hmm. and the ones that we have here, here uh, we probably have about six on the island now, they come from North America. And the same birds, we honestly believe, come back year after year. Birds are, are creatures of habit, and when they find somewhere that they like, and that they can find food, and that they're not harassed, they will return year after year. I have a picture there. I want to show you about osprey um, perching. Ospreys, if we just go back one slide, ospreys love to perch on high spots. And um, they slide right after this one would perch on, maybe we don't have it, anyhow, on high spots and the telephone cables and, and poles, there it is, mm -hmm. that we have around the place are really superb. And this particular pole is right next to a pond. Isn't that so, risky for them? No, because the wires are sufficiently uh, separated that they're, they're not going to bridge the, the wires, mm -hmm. so they won't get electrocuted. But from that perch, he can look down and see if there are any fish. And then once he sees how many lights, he starts a circle around. And that's where you really appreciate the, the beauty of his... his um, now, you mentioned the bald eagle. I know that they're similar, but... Um, they're, they're rather different species, but they, they are all raptors together. Bald eagles don't make it to Barbados, unfortunately. I'm, I'm not sure if you ever had a record of a bald eagle in Barbados. And as, as they circle around, they've spot a fish and basically hover. Um, like a hummingbird in some ways, they, they kind of just get there and hover looking down. There's a fish there that positioned bird watching a mm -hmm. couple of weeks ago. It's quite a large fish. And notice he's positioned it so that he, he has minimum wind resistance. He has his head facing forward and he's flying with that. Now, that's bird brain. <laughs> <laughs> They're smart to, to fly with their fish. Little mouth. In the, in the next, next uh, two flies to a perch, mm -hmm. the top of a telephone pole again, electric pole. Mm -hmm. And he'll sit there when he, when he alights on it. You mm -hmm. see he's coming. Going for a landing. He'll mm -hmm. sit there. He'll hold the fish. Um, in one of his talons, and he'll use that hook beak to tear it apart. And the, the next picture will give, give you a view of it, a great picture. Mm -hmm. I them, uh, the long pond area in, in St. Andrew, a, a lovely long pond where uh, you'll find them sitting on dead trees down at the far end, and mm -hmm. they'll fly up and down. Looking for fish. And uh, another area would be the Marhins Bay area, 
Uh, we got a slide of this base and get low tide. See them sometimes. Um, is, is the big pond there is a beautiful wide area for them to fish in. But curious. Um, since You say there are about six who come to Barbados every year. Uh, how do you see them? I mean, when they're only six and there's so many different sites. There are, we always see them flat. It's an osprey <laughs> um, relieving himself. This was taken by someone in Norway, and I thought it was quite an incredible <laughs> capture. He's He's already having quite a squirt there this morning. Yeah, great, great nature bit of photography. Calls. Yeah, nature calls. I love it. Dr. John Webster, so fascinating, you know, the life and times of this bird. Uh, we certainly appreciate it, and we hope in <laughs> additions to come. Thank you so much. Then get in some exercise, Kimberly. Yes, indeed. That's right. What are we doing this morning? Um, it seems as if we're working with the barbells again. Okay. Yes, our workout of the day.